Welcome back to our conversation with Ace, Boston Globe political reporter and analyst James Pindle. Well, a couple quick things about the New Hampshire primary before we get to the sure. Senate race. What happened to Beto? <laughs> um, You're writing him off pretty much, right? I am. Uh, I had a list recently of the top candidates and ranking them, and he uh, did top seven candidates. Uh, Andrew Yang was number seven for context, and he and Beto is not even in contention in the New Hampshire primary right now. He has dropped hugely, uh, to use the, the, the president's term. He's also kind of writing off the early states. He's in this uh, phase of the political magazine, use a, an expletive uh, of, of his kind of screw you type of, of, of attitude right, right now. He's right. Uh, trying to run around the country, be this national figure. But well, Texas votes on Super Tuesday. Is that the idea? That I think the idea is that what he's that... doing right now is clearly not working. Yeah, uh, okay. I think that's pretty much the idea. So he's trying to get some more national coverage and more uh, small dollar contributions to his campaign. As you put it out, when he first came up to New Hampshire some months ago, big crowds, yeah. lots of excitement. Now. I had, a, I, had a, I had a friend send me the perfect text this week, uh, which was a picture of Beto's first appearance. Um, it was at Keene State University. People, you know, the, yeah. the, the, it was hanging the, from the rafters. It was the student union. He was two hours late, and they still did it because he drove his own car. Uh, he was at the University of New Hampshire this past week, and it's a cordon off area of this of their student union, and there's probably you know 40 people there. I mean, just real briefly, what what fizzled? What 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 did he what did he do or not do that sort of left these voters uh, listless? Uh, he lacked a point. Yeah, no clear message. <laughs> yeah, you like the yeah. point. Yeah. I mean, okay. he was hopey, changy, it's fine, and then people right. had other options. Okay. Well, as of this moment, still no announcement from Joe Kennedy, mm -hmm. the congressman, about officially entering the race against Senator Ed Markey, right. who's up for re-election next year. First of all, at what point does Kennedy develop a Beto O'Rourke problem, where you may recall he played Hamlet for so long, will he jump in or won't he, that some of his momentum and support kind of eroded? I think you're getting at what, what kind of moment we're at with Kennedy now. He yeah. says he will make up his mind pretty soon. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but on the one hand, it certainly looks like he is definitely running. Um, uh, and going to challenge Markey. And all the pushback, which we saw, particularly on Capitol Hill the, the, this past week, saying, Joe, you should not do this, or any apprehension that he should not do this. Um, I don't know how a Kennedy walks away uh, and, and admits defeat or something like that, particularly when you have polls like our Boston Globe poll for the, uh, last weekend showing him up by 14%. I do think it's a very fascinating moment in American politics where you have every conventional wisdom of the party decides, these other people decide. And Kennedy's saying, no, actually, I can float above all that. You have to go negative. I don't, I'm not sure he has to. So it's a really fascinating moment. But um, I think he can wait. I think he's going to take some time if he doesn't have to decide right away. Well, there was a similar kind of pushback from the establishment when Ayanna Presley of was going to run against Mike Capuano. We all know how that one turned out. And the Kennedys uh, are full of ambition. Yeah. And throughout their whole history. Family. With the money and, uh, and organizational support challenge to back it up. Challenge the sitting president. You weren't yeah. supposed to nominate your brother to the Senate or nominate your brother to uh, right. Attorney General. You weren't supposed to run for Congress for the first time JFK because the Cambridge mayor was going to do it. They did it anyway. Right. right. <laughs> and they won. <laughs> James, great to see you. Thank you. Thanks. James Pindle of the Boston Globe, check out his stuff. It's among the best writing you'll see about the New Hampshire primary and the current political scene. That's it for me. Now it's back over to my colleagues for more WBZ News.